I have 2013 Honda Accord four cylinder. And I have driven this car for about 3,500 miles, a little bit more than that since the last oil change. So today I'll be changing the engine oil. The maintenance minder on this Honda Accord uh, shows a oil change interval of about 7,000 miles. But as you've seen in my other videos, I found out from experience that is too long. And uh, ideal interval is still about 3,000, 3,500 miles. And that's what I would recommend as well. Now, anytime we're changing the engine oil, it is recommended to also change the engine oil filter. So I'll change that as well. Now, what kind of engine oil should I put into this accord? Now, that answer I can find uh, several places. It says on the cap, 0W20, and also says see owner's manual. Now, owner's manual, as you can see, it's a pretty thick document. Towards the end of this big um, owner's manual, is the information section, which is the specifications. In um, right on the second, third page, at least for this accord, it says engine oil. And it says right there on top, this is going to use a 0W20 um, engine oil. And here's the capacity, uh, about 4.4 quarts or 4.5 quarts. And we're changing it's about anywhere from 4.2 to 4.5 quarts. So that's the engine oil, 0W20, uh, which it says right on the cap. But again, you cannot trust the cap by itself. So that's one place. Other place we can find, uh, which I often start with, is the index section, which is right at the back of the owner's manual. So keep going, we'll come to the index section, this section here, which is just an alphabetical uh, list of, uh, uh, you know, where to find what type of information. So I'm looking for oil. It says right here, oil, it, it listed out at on page 501 so let's go to 501 so now I, i'm on page 501 it says recommended engine oil it says 0w20 premium grade oil for gasoline engines also shows the method on how to check um, on the next page should tell me how to how to check the oil level In case you're interested, you got time to read through the manual, please do. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is where we find what type of oil uh, we need. So 0W20 is the oil that this Accord uh, needs. The engine oil I'll use today in my 2013 Accord is Mobile One Extended Performance. And that's the Honda oil filter, and that's the part number on that. When we're changing the filter, it's gonna change the, uh, the crush washer. Things I need to do the oil change, I need jack stands to lift the car up so I can get under the car uh, to open the drain plug. And to open the plug, I need uh, a ratchet with a 17 millimeter head. Uh, to drain the oil out, you need the drain pan, uh, the oil drain pan. And then uh, to put the new uh, fresh oil in the car, you need the funnel, and I need an empty gallon of uh, uh, milk to put in the old oil um, for recycling. Then I need some uh, paper towels or kitchen towels um, to kind of clean the area and my hands. So now that I got the car on uh, jack stands, I can get under the car and open the engine oil drain plug, which is here. It says on there, engine oil, super convenient. Now, sometimes the drain plug is too tight. So we got a few options. One of them, of course, we got put some force on it. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. So this is gonna be on my side of it. If I'm, I'm looking at it, it's gonna be here, right? So things I can do, either I can get on the other side of the vehicle and kick this thing. So I can kick it, which means push it out, and that's gonna 
nice little kick is gonna open the drain bolt. That's one option or use the trick that I have the video on, which is use the scissor jack, lift the jack up to open the drain bolt. So I tried to open it with hand. Uh, then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a kick. So a kick, nice little kick, open it. So you can see, it says open, gets my work done fast and easy. So awesome. Now, one thing I wanna do is at least loosen the engine oil filter, which is right here. So in the event that I need, uh, I can't open it, I need to go to the store to get something, uh, like a filter opener, then I'm able to do that. Sometimes it is uh, uh, a little bit hard to remove. So um, there are a few things we can do. Number one, either put a rag around the filter uh, to loosen it, or put some, um, put some rubber bands around it uh, on the front end of it. Uh, something like this. Uh, well, this will do is help us get a little bit better grip on the filter so we can loosen it. Or the third option, there are several tools available uh, to help remove the oil filter. So open the cap from the top to so make sure the oil drains well. So put a little uh, cardboard under the drain pan so I won't spill it on the driveway. So oils come to a stop. You know, I put the drain plug back on with my new crush washer, so which is right here. So I put that back on here. Remove the oil filter. Uh, I should have worn gloves. So just unscrew it. So let's check the color of the oil that came out. It is really bad color. It is not good at all. Man, this is bad. And I will tell you, I mean, this is the pins oil that I put in there last time. And performance wise, it was, it, it was not good. As I was driving it after a couple thousand miles, it was already lagging quite a bit. So this was the oil I put in last time and not good at all, not happy with it. And this was like, this is the color of the new oil, it's like a vegetable color oil. So if I put on the paper, it's gonna look like this. Look at the difference. Yeah, I can already tell you, I'm not really happy with the pins oil, the way I performed. All right, so I'm gonna put that in a recycled container and uh, install oil filter to put the oil in the core. And before we install the oil filter, the new oil filter, I'm gonna put the oil inside it. That's an important step. Just wanna make sure everybody, I don't miss that part. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. So we're gonna put the oil in, fill that up with oil and also put that on the seal uh, all around the kind of black color seal around around it so that it makes a good seal uh, and will not leak. So this is where the oil filter goes. So I'm gonna clean the uh, area around it. Make sure it can make a good tight seal. All right, that's good enough. 
We're gonna put the new filter. When it's installed correctly, it should be able to very easily like a spin like this and tighten it like righty tighty. So come to a nice tight go. Of course we want to tighten it. That's good. Okay, putting the oil in. They should put about four and a half quart approximately considering I replaced the filter as well. So some of the oil is gonna go there. Ah, almost there. I think I'm at it. Half a quart. Okay. I'm gonna stop. And we'll measure how much oil is there before I add more. Always easy to add more later. Let's check the oil level. So I started the car, uh, let it rest uh, for at least three minutes. It's been longer, much longer than that. Clean that up. Okay. Insert that back. Really nice job. Yeah, so there is oil up to here so that's pretty good uh, to the top level so i don't need to add don't need to add anymore so we're good to go so right now i'm going to tighten everything up tighten this and go tighten the drain bolt yeah. So everything is good to go. Remove, uh, put the new oil in, close the uh, oil cap here, close the drain plug, close the lid down. So 